Let's refer to activities. Let's build bunk beds. Okay. okay. Uh, first, good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Bob Herzog. And I'm Jen Dalton. And we thank you for joining us on Arc Cincinnati. May Couldn't do this normally. May, may Couldn't fourth, do that. May the fourth be with you. Couldn't Not do this. Quite yet, but Okay, we're getting ready to just for a Star Wars day. We're going to help you get ready for it. Also, uh, on, also. On Try It Tuesday. Yeah, are, are you ready for a road trip? Because we have some ideas for weekend and day trips that are just a short drive from the Tri-State. Now, let's hold on. Before, I was going to say, should we explain Don't run the around. animation yet. So normally, for those of you who have been with us here on Arc Cincinnati from the beginning, you'll notice there's, there's normally some, some here that's not, that's not here right now. Usually a monitor. It's a, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm going to show them. <laughs> Hang on. The show must go on, right? And so sometimes things don't work. Bob what? almost just took out our whiteboard as well. He's coming what's in. That, what's okay. that A stand for, Jen, in ARC? Authentic. Authentic. We can't figure out how the heck to get something <laughs> routed in here right now. I've checked, I've checked, all, checked the all the connections. Anthony the checked sources. all the connections. They've done all the things upstairs yeah. you can do. I don't know. Hit some buttons. Working. I don't know. Hit the source. We did it with PC connection. I don't know. So anyway, so it's still here. Do this. It oh, exists. Now I'm going to turn TV on. Yeah, I wonder what we're watching. I don't know. Let's see. Better not be one of our nope, competitors. Okay. Anyway. And by competitors, I mean other stations that actually come out of this building. <laughs> it's fascinating. <laughs> Let's see what's brewing in the tri-state. I'll move this. Okay. Oh, well, how time flies. It is almost pool season. Can you believe it? I know some people who already have their pools open. Today, we will know more about which public pools will be operating this season. Yeah, the Cincinnati Rec Commission will be announcing its 2024 summer pool plan. This will likely include which pools will be open this year. For the past few years, the commission has had to delay some pool openings because of a lifeguard shortage. The CRC has already started lifeguard trainings. They're looking for more people to sign up. In fact, the next training class begins on May 28th at the Pleasant Ridge Pool. We've talked about this before. It's obviously a hugely important job, but it is a great it is yeah. a great summer job, it you is. know, for, for a teenager who is looking for a summer job. Yeah, so uh, a lot of those places are paying pretty competitively now. I just yeah. had a thought. You know how sometimes I have thoughts like mid-flow yeah. that, that didn't, don't hit me until right now? We should... Be lifeguards? Maybe. If they can't fix that monitor, we're going to have to do something. <laughs> um, but just to go through the training itself, just to see if we could do it. Oh, I can't. I don't know if I, I could do I it. Could save don't you have to tread water with like a brick? Like, like with a brick? I, I don't. Yes, yeah. Tanner, our producer, says yes. Tanner, how it. long ago did you do it? He doesn't, he doesn't want to talk, talk about, about that part. how long part. ago it was. But obviously, again, very, very important. I hope they can get as many of right. those pools open as yeah, possible. Yeah, because especially during the heat of the summer, a lot of people need that as an option to cool off. No doubt. Good place for kids to be, too. For sure. Well, are y'all ready for this? But oh, almost started. Sing, almost, almost did it. No oh, my gosh. I, I wanted so to jam so to. hard, though. The Florence ah. Y'alls are headed back to the Diamond tonight for their first exhibition game of the season. The Y'alls will be taking on the Washington Wild Things tonight at Thomas More Stadium. Now, the official home opener is next Thursday. If you've never been to a Y'alls game, it is a must-see event. And we had some members of the y'all's staff in our studio last week to talk about how their games are affordable fun for the whole family this summer. Uh, Tuesday nights, uh, it's two dollar tickets, two dollar hot dogs, uh, two dollar soda. Um, so you got you know the good night to get in there. But then you know on you know Wednesday nights we do dollar dogs. Thursdays is thirsty Thursday dollar beers, two dollar twenty ounce beers. And then the you know the the affordable entertainment on a Friday night for, with a game and a fireworks show at the end. Um, you know kind of puts it all together to end the week out. I think it's so fun. One, I think I watched Minute to Win It like constantly for the past <laughs> couple of weeks just to try and find the best games. Find that new I can things. Yeah. Have for our fans. Um, and having it family friendly, you know, we have like pie my dad, so a little kid gets to pie his dad in the face. And what? It's so fun. Could possibly <laughs> be better than that. <laughs> it is so much fun. They also have some fun theme nights like Star Wars nights, yeah. Margaritaville night, and a Christmas in July spectacular. They are just a whole lot of fun. And they said in particular that the Margaritaville night just killed oh, for them last night. Like it was just just crazy, crazy in terms of attendance and everything Posterior. else. But I do I do love the fact that it is for a family. It is so affordable mm -hmm. when you compare it to some of the other things you can get out and do. So and, and, and fun. I love the stadium. It's yeah. really nice. They do a great job. With Got the like food. a play area. They have a play area. They have all kinds of stuff going on for everybody to be interested in yeah. when you're at the game. If you've so. never been out of the Alls, go check them out. Try. Yeah. Hey, a local woman was promised an adventure of a lifetime. She had to take some steps first. She sold all of her possessions 
to go on this cruise around the world. My bag was totally packed and my boxes were in Florida at a warehouse waiting to be loaded onto the ship. Wow, but that cruise never set sail. Carrie Whitman was one of the people who were left in a really, really difficult spot. Mary Cruises canceled this Life at Sea cruise because there was no ship. The original vessel was too small to sail to all the ports. Feels like that should have been something to be checked out earlier. Whitman sold her home to embark on this three year cruise, not a three hour tour, <laughs> a three year cruise. Had plans to see all seven continents, 140 countries, though she is trying to find the positive still in the situation. Downsized, I got rid of my house, I got knee surgery that had been needing to happen and I had my knee replaced. It pushed me to make decisions and do things that I just had not been doing. We live our day-to-day -day life and we go to work and we come home and I've shaken things up. Now Whitman did get a full refund on her $32,000 down payment and the offer of a free week-long cruise to the Greek islands. And she said she does plan on taking the company up on that trip. But imagine no, the I upheaval can't. in your life. I can't. I mean, selling your house, like, especially now in the market now, she probably couldn't. Oh, I, I don't know what her situation is, but I was sure. sharing a story the other day saying a lot of people can't, couldn't afford to buy the house that they have now because of the interest rates. Right, right. So, but I love her attitude. Correct. I mean, you have two choices here. You can either wallow, which I would totally understand, right. or you can take the approach that she is like, okay, it happened. And these are the, it got me moving in a direction and I'm going to go with that direction. Like, well, and, and, and to that, that first step for any adventure, whether that's right. just starting an exercise program or something as simple about changing your diet, that, that first step is yeah. always, she took more than that first step. Oh my gosh, she so took, many. She took that life altering step that she is going to just sort of continue forward yeah. with, which I agree is, is kind of a cool thing. You yeah. know? Yeah. I'm, I mean, she, I think she's amazing for having that attitude. I don't know if I'd be able to be that positive, but yeah. Um, it's cool for her. I'm so glad that she got that $32,000 back at least, you know, and yeah, I and hope she enjoys her cruise. Have that fun she gets in, the take. in the Greek Isles. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like a good time. It feels like the Greek Isles in here right now. It's it's so if my hair gets in, bigger in over August, the hour in, in August, it's going to be so hot. Oh, it is yeah. going to be flat anyway, moist in here. Happy birthday to Kings Island. The park turned 52 yesterday. The park opened on April 29th. 1972. The racer is still running and the park's grand carousel are two rides that are still operating after all these years. Hmm. But we want to know which ride or attraction you miss most at Kings Island. So we asked you on our ARC Facebook page and a bunch of you checked in. So Molly says, love the King oh. Cobra, a standing roller coaster was something fun and different. It certainly, it, I, it, it felt so very different when you got on it that felt ride. So it was so Look at me, I'm standing I up know. on a roller coaster, I'm wild. Uh, David says, my dad worked at Kings Island back when the Brady Bunch episode was filmed there and he worked on the Sky Ride. Oh. That was gone before I was born, he says, but I would have loved to have seen that. I, and speaking of things I wish you would have seen because it's not out there anymore, I don't think to be watched. We went out to Kings Island and reenacted that Brady Bunch episode to the best of it our doesn't ability. doesn't exist? No. Stop it's not, it. It's not online anymore because I think some of the music from Brady Bunch was used in it. But so is we it had anywhere to, in this we had building? To take it down. Could we show any of it? I, I probably could find some of it somewhere. But I have and not been able to. It's it's blown off of YouTube. I can't find it on our website anymore. Um, I tried to look within Storyline if that helps you at all, but I can't. I can't find it. We have to find it. I found the and image that we made right. in the, the the Brady Bunch blocks. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to find because we, we did. It. We We went out and we, we were Bobby and Cindy mm -hmm. um, and uh, John Lomax. He was he, he played Mr. Brady and had lost those architecture right. plans, which was sort of the basis of that episode. If those uh, of you are familiar with that at all. But um, yeah, that was that was really a fun day. Have to find some of that. Yeah. Well, Pamela said, honestly, I really missed the vortex and I'm kind of sad. One. I'm not able to share the experience with my kids. Yeah, there was something about that big metal roller coaster showing up out there. That was a big deal with the, with the big loop on it and everything. Yeah. And Katie says the backward side of the racer. Uh, yes, you love that too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was the absolute best. Yeah. And it was for, you know, well, I guess when the racer first opened, it was both forward. And then for a, a period from, I don't know, somewhere in, in the 80s, somewhere to the very, very early 2000. I may have those dates wrong. Um, 
they had one side was backwards, yeah. and now they're both they're both forward again. I heard it had something to do with like insurance policies and blah blah blah, but I, I don't even know if that's yeah. that's true or not. All I know is they're they're for eighty two to two thousand eight. That was the, the, the those were the dates when the the backwards eraser was still available. But there was something about that as you you know you'd have the forward people on the one side, the backward, yeah. and you're and watching you each other each going other. up the yeah. hill and everything like yeah. that. It was super fun for me. For me, as a person of this place and of a certain time the smurfs enchanted voyage right. the Aww. little the little boat ride yes. on a hot on a hot summer's day is that the one that now is like a it's it's is the phantom like thing? the phantom of the yeah. opera shoot 'em thing yeah. is that, that the, they had? I think that's yeah it. it was it was a scooby doo thing for a while before the uh, before the smurfs enchanted voyage it was another boat ride but with other hanna barbera characters yeah. i always like those cuz it's a nice break yes. and it's nice inside it's cool and you can just sit down for a little bit yeah. after standing in line for hours or whatever and if you were you were out there and you were a, oh, no. you were a teen maybe you met a new friend out there and you're like why don't we uh, why don't we go on the old smurfs enchanted voyage <laughs> Cool down, a little, cool down a little bit. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I have no uh, idea. All right, it is somehow we stretched this oh, out to 11 did. minutes after Looks. 8. Without the monitor, it's Sorry, like a Tanner. gift. Uh, sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest. You want to see more, so click some of those links. Or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.